They put you, they handcuff you, they drug you, they put you on the bed, and they, they separate you from everyone you know. West was being treated for sleep deprivation when his doctor reportedly called 911 saying he was psychotic. I think he definitely is going to need to be hospitalized, so I went to see the police by itself. Don't scare me, please. What's going on? I just tell the truth, and telling the truth is crazy in a world full of lies. Never go against the family. On this channel, we cover high-profile individuals who often have complex and controversial backstories. Kanye West is no exception. Please do not take anything that we say in this video as an endorsement or an excuse for Kanye West's behaviors. One of the most important things you need to start investigating, like a member of the BJ Investigates crew, is the internet, and of course, a way to record your research. So we're literally giving away an iPad Air. Whether you're actually investigating like us, or you just wanna watch all our videos on repeat, we wanted to do something special to celebrate the launch of our new channel and to thank the over 7,000 of you who have already subscribed to this brand new channel. All you have to do to enter is follow BJ Investigates on both Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to this channel, BJ Investigates, on YouTube. After that, just make sure to leave a comment below telling us that you've entered and, you know, what you might do with the iPad and make sure you include your social media handle because that's how we're going to be able to get in touch with you. And trust me, this is BJ Investigates. I will be checking. A winner will be chosen once this channel reaches 10,000 subscribers. So good luck and thank you again to everyone. I'll see you in the comments section. See the description box below for all the fine print details. Since the beginning of time, religious organizations have been attempting to control the public narrative as best as they can through the use of entertainment, deliberately using fear-based tactics to torture their congregation's psyche, to partnering with high-profile celebrities to help spread their gospel. But what happens when the celebrity they attempted to prop up is no longer controllable, and they still have the entire world's attention? Meet Kanye West, the rapper, entrepreneur, and fashion designer who needs no introduction. Where we last left off, Kris Jenner just began dating her new man, Corey Gamble, and was reportedly attempting to convert Caitlyn Jenner. However, her reach didn't stop there. It unfortunately continued not only into her daughter's relationships, but their partners as well. While Kanye was locked up against his will in UCLA Medical Center in 2016, that's whenever he made a plan to start a church in Calabasas. And now we're in 2020 and we know that he has Sunday service and it goes on all over the place, but mostly does happen, you know, in California, I think. So he made the plan while he was in the hospital to start a church. And it just speaks to me and Jake's little unofficial theory. You have three options. Be rich enough where nobody messes with you, be under the control of a church, or be under the control of something else with force of the state. Those are your options. And while Kanye was number three, he decided maybe I should do one of two, which would be start a church. I'm not gonna join a church, but start a church. Kanye has a, ch has he started a church or what's going on? Because I see that there's a church now that he's going yeah, to Yeah, we regularly. didn't really have a name for it because it's more of just a healing, experience it was something it that looks Kanye, like fun based on the videos that i've seen it is fun. it's so just like emotional the music is so um it really is this healing experience for anyone that just is you all go to this it's really uplifting and you feel excellent we have so many friends that maybe feel a little too judgmental when they go to church or something like that when they come here they feel so free and safe is what everybody says and you have a great time it's a beautiful way to start your week and you feel just just love a and musical happy. experience that is pretty moving do you pray to kanye or to <laughs> god at this church there's actually there's no praying there's no, no praying. sermon there's no word it's just music and it's just a feeling oh but it's I, christian it is yeah, yeah but there is some theme because otherwise it's a concert right i mean <laughs> Yes, it it's definitely a lot of gospel has, songs. It is a, it's very, yeah, there's the choir, it's gospel music. Um, it it is. Jesus Walks. <laughs> yeah, so it's, Thank it's you, kind Courtney. of a mixture. Thank you. 
We have Just clarify. He has had an amazing evolution of being born again and being saved by Christ. And he has now um, made it, you know, people always ask, well, what are you worshiping and what is this? It is a Christian service, like a musical ministry. It is, you know, they, they talk about Jesus and God and... Is there a minister sing. there? Sometimes. So if okay. he goes to a different church where he has, they've shown up and done these surprise little pop-up Sunday services at other churches. Then in August 2016, Chris betrays Kanye by going behind his back to negotiate a deal with Adidas before signing Kylie to Puma. So that was a big issue because Kanye liked Kylie's style. He liked her and wanted her to be a model or be an ambassador for Yeezy. But Chris went to Adidas behind Kanye's back, who is what the Yeezy contract is through Adidas. So Chris circumvented Kanye and went straight to Adidas and then later signed a deal with Puma. But Kanye was pissed about that. 2016 is the year that Kanye West was put into an involuntary psychiatric hold, exactly like the one that Britney was put into called a 5150 hold. And 2016 is also the year that Kanye West started acting like he was Donald Trump's friend. Y'all remember all of that? But guess who went with Kanye West to New York City on a trip to discuss multicultural issues with Donald Trump? Corey Handler Gamble. 2014 is when Chris actually meets Corey Gamble. How did Chris meet Corey? Kanye West threw a party, invited Corey Gamble, who works for Scooter Braun, and who was also Justin Bieber's tour manager. Corey Gamble, Chris's sugar baby, is Justin Bieber's former tour manager. And it just raised the question in my mind, was Corey put into the Kardashians circle for the purpose of keeping tabs on Kanye? Because he is one of these type of artists that you cannot control. I'm really happy for you, I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. George Bush doesn't care about black people. So Weston Gamble's trip to the East Coast came just two weeks after the rapper suffered a psychotic emergency, is what they call it, which I don't believe it was, which led to a hospitalization, a forced incarceration in a medical facility, is what we're gonna call it on this channel, at UCLA Medical Center, where he was treated for sleep deprivation and exhaustion. We now have obtained a copy of the 911 tape that set all of this in motion. This was the call that his doctor made uh, back last Monday. I'm actually uh, one of his doctors. I'm just calling for my cell phone to request that we can have some police backup because uh, I don't think the paramedics, you know, the you police. can bring both. I, 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 yeah. yeah, I think he's definitely going to need to be hospitalized, so I wouldn't just do the police by itself. You can just keep an eye on him. You know, just try yeah, to yeah, obviously he's here with us. Don't keep him. Let him get any any weapons or anything like that. If anything changes, he does become physically combative between now and when the police and the paramedics get the calls back immediately. Then we'll do. Thank you so much. I, I got to tell you something. I was told early on here. Um, that the doctor was actually there well, when you he can, placed the call. You can tell at a point in the conversation he is at the house. He does make it to the house. Well, right now, Kanye West is under observation at this hospital. Behind me, a source telling us he is suffering from exhaustion and sleep deprivation and that he checked himself in voluntarily. The call came in at 1.20 p.m. Medical emergency at a West Hollywood address. Earlier, the Heartless Singers team had canceled all remaining dates of West's St. Pablo tour. Last night, West's wife, Kim Kardashian, was supposed to make her first public appearance since she was held at gunpoint and robbed in Paris last month. And then the next uh, few months later, I did a fashion show and it started 45 minutes late and the media, they just killed me. Then less than a week after that, my wife is robbed in Paris. Again, not addiction, not delusions of grandeur, not inability to take care of himself, not danger to himself, treated for sleep deprivation and exhaustion. He was in the middle of a tour. He went to his personal physician, like at his house, I believe, to get checked out. And much like Amanda Bynes was tricked and they called the police and the ambulance showed up and put him in the, and against his will. He was handcuffed and he was drugged and he said that himself on David Letterman's show, My Next Guest or whatever. There's a moment that I have to talk about publicly that has to be changed. So I'm gonna talk about this publicly so this moment can change. So when you're in this state, you're hyper paranoid about everything. Everyone, for, this is my experience. Some people have other experiences. You feel everyone wants to kill you. You pretty much don't trust anyone. And they have this moment where they put you, they handcuff you, they drug you, they put you on the bed. 
and they, they separate you from everyone you know. That's something that I am so happy that I experienced myself so I can start by changing that moment. When you are in that state, you have to have someone you trust. It is cruel and primitive to do that. Here's another one that they love to do when you get the stigma of crazy. They love to write you off. And when you tell people that, and when I tell them the way I feel, it's like they hear me, but they're really not listening. They're hearing what they want to hear. They're not really listening to what I'm telling them. What you say doesn't mean as much. Sometimes to me, I think it's a form of protection for me. It's like you can't really go there in a complete state of happiness because you're scared that it's going to be taken away, you know? So it's better just not to feel anything at all and to have hope than to feel the other way. They love to cut your sentences off halfway. It's like, what's that? Here's the thing too that's interesting. He didn't get hospitalized for exhaustion and sleep deprivation until he was within driving distance of UCLA Medical Center because he was on a countrywide tour. So when I talk about MTV, let me explain something. I was hurt, Beyonce, I was hurt because I wanted to present a video called Faith and out of respect, MTV told me, Mr. West, out of respect to you, I will let you know that Beyonce is winning the video tonight for formation over Hot Eye Bling and Famous. And the Moon Man for video of the year goes to Beyonce Formation! My beautiful daughter and my incredible husband for all of their support. I'd like to thank Beyonce, I was hurt. I went down seven years on behalf of your baby. Don't go no s around talk. Kanye West has been hospitalized for exhaustion with reports he's been placed on psychiatric hold. So we got it. We listen, we'll get to UCLA. So in 2017, Kanye West writes the song All Mine in which he raps the following lyrics. Sometimes you got to bag the boss up. I call that taking Corey gambles. April 25th, 2018, Kanye fires Scooter Braun. But guess what? Scooter can still keep tabs if he really wants to because Corey is dating Kanye's mother-in-law. Isn't that convenient? Scooter Braun was Kanye's manager? Yes, until 2018. He was his main manager. Wouldn't anybody be exhausted and sleep deprived? This is ridiculous. They're taking away people's rights right in front of us and using these fancy words to try to make it seem like it's just fine. Words that you've used in the book to describe her behavior over the, your lifetime was erratic, paranoid, spiraling. It looks like Amanda Bynes may be a schizophrenic. She was currently on a 72 hour hold, a psychiatric hold. We also know that her parents are going to make a move to create a conservatorship. So listen, he got put in a involuntary psychiatric hold Two weeks later, he's running to Donald Trump to talk about multicultural issues. Do you think it's possible he might have been thinking, perhaps the president of the United States will be able to help me if I get put into a conservatorship? How many weeks? Two. Oh. Two weeks. Yeah. This is Corey. He attended the rapper's music fashion show, Yeezy season three, with the Kardashian family at Madison Square Garden. More recently, he joined the family at West St. Pablo tour in Inglewood, California. So just let's stop right there for a second. Corey Gamble, who has had a temporary restraining order put against him for stalking someone, is later just miraculously meets Kris Jenner at a party that Kanye West is hosting, and it, within months is on keeping up with the Kardashians, and then follows Kanye all around, presumably keeping tabs on him. That's suspicious. Then there's a 2017 music video with Kanye and Tyga, where Kim gives birth to Kylie. <laughs> I think it was like a flip off to Kris Jenner because basically saying Kylie is just a Kim. Kim is the blueprint. It was like a dig. So then April 2018, Kanye fires Scooter. September 2018, 
Chris goes on Laura Wasser's podcast, the lawyer who's Kim's divorce lawyer and also has represented Britney in her divorce. Chris says on Laura Wasser's podcast, I will never marry Corey. In 2019, an article finally says Kanye apparently founded a church and the guests are as follows. Katy Perry, Orlando Bloom, Courtney Love, and Tyler, the creator. This is a blind gossip item talking about Chris Jenner's church. And it says it was originally supposed to be a tax shelter, but now she realizes it could be a revenue generator. She is fascinated by a competitor church. And I think that that was Sunday service. I think that the reason that Chris Jenner wanted to keep Kanye around a little longer is to figure out how he was running that church because people want to come to his church. The reason people want to come to his church is because it's all about the worship. It's all about the singing. And it's like going to a concert. When you go to a concert and they're singing uplifting and nice music, it feels good. That's what Chris Jenner needs to understand. It's not just about being part of a club. It's just a bunch of these people calling themselves Christians because they can either start a cool club that a lot of people come to, start a tax haven, start a revenue generator. It's reasons other than the Lord. I'm not a Christian now, but I just sure did go to Sunday school. And I know for a fact, Jesus Christ himself flipped over tables in his father's house. <laughs> because you people are trying to generate revenue off of his name. And that's why Jesus flipped them tables over in the temple. So look, listen, I'm sorry, a non-Christian got to tell you Christians that what you're doing is inappropriate, but here I am doing it. They call this church a competitor church, but I really think it's Sunday service. She's fascinated by competitor church, which she sees as a model for what she wants to do. That's why her daughter goes to competitor church to get the inside scoop on how everything works. The long-term plan is to rebrand the, her own church, the Jenner's church, to something catchy expand the reach, get attention by doing something outrageous or newsworthy at the service each and every week. And that's why I thought it was based on Sunday service. So Kim is in Sunday service just to get the scoop. So maybe she was gonna try to divorce him long before, but realize, oh, I can make a lot of money doing music festivals all around this country and calling it a church service. I would go. If he was having Sunday service out in Western Pennsylvania, I would go. It's like a music festival. Why wouldn't you? Each stunt will be publicized via photo ops and video clips. Same as Sunday service. It doesn't matter if you love it or hate it as long as it gets attention. Then they can grow the number of members, maybe even do a weekly broadcast so they can grow the church worldwide and watch the donations roll in. What do you get when you mix religion with celebrity? Money. And this celebrity matriarch sees a lot of money to be made with that combination. In 2019, per the Associated Press, Kanye allegedly sent Corey Gamble texts that questioned his motives. So Kanye is wising up to this stuff. Again, no matter what your feelings are on Kanye, you can't deny that they were kind of setting him up with the 2016 involuntary uh, psychiatric hold and things like that. He sent texts to Corey Gamble, who was formerly like his buddy, that questioned his motives, a situation that played out on an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Kanye was like, I think it's weird. Like, we've never met his family. That's weird. I mean, of course, we've all felt that way and thought that, but for Kanye to just so bluntly say that to him, I feel like that was the wrong choice to make at that time. You guys sit and talk sh to Kanye, and if you talk sh to Kanye, he's gonna put that up here and run with it. I mean, it is weird. I'm not, we saying, I'm not saying we're that all that's... different. How about you used to be weird? We all put up with each other. At the time, Jenner didn't appreciate the meddling. I just wish I knew why Kanye has to bring bad energy into the field. Okay, then the same year in 2019, Cody bought Kylie Cosmetics, the 51%, the $600 million sale. And the purchase agreement was with a KMJ 2018 irrevocable trust controlled by Kristen M. Jenner as the owning a profit interest in Kylie Cosmetics. So Kris Jenner actually owned a profit share of Kylie Cosmetics and got paid, not as just the business manager, not like, oh, she got paid because she was a manager. No, 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 no. She was a partial owner of Kylie Cosmetics and got paid whenever Cody paid $600 million in cash to buy Kylie Cosmetics. And it's extra sketchy because Forbes and everybody else ended up coming back out and saying Co Kylie Cosmetics was never worth $1.1 billion, $1.2 billion. That was a lie from the beginning. And it's speculated that Lou Taylor is the one that helped them cook the books. She was the, the registered agent for service of process for Kylie Cosmetics when it sold half of itself. Lou Taylor's also under investigation for Prince's estate, so we'll just have to see how that goes. April 25th, 2019, Kendall and Kanye West go to Hillsong for a Wednesday night service. We need to go to a Wednesday night service somewhere just to 
shake it up. In May next month, People article about Kanye, Corey, and Chloe had a fight. So Chloe and Kanye ganged up on Corey Gamble, criticized him for being secretive. Corey explained, quote, a person like me gets criticized for not talking about their business. I've been so secretive in a lot of significant people's lives and I don't talk about it because it's not my place to talk about it. So were you in Britney's life? Whose life were you in? All I think about is that. Me too. I don't know why she's not the only significant person. <laughs> Debatable. <laughs> I mean, there's me. <laughs> he says blabbermouths f up their lives for themselves and others. So then, October 30th, 2019, Kylie Jenner was grinding on Corey at a concert. So, this is a Hollywood Life article that says Chris Jenner's feelings on Kylie Jenner and Corey Gamble dirty dancing at a concert revealed. So, Kylie Jenner was like literally grinding on her like stepdaddy sugar baby situation. And then Chris comes out and, and addresses it and she says, he was there, Corey was there to protect them. So again, is he a handler? Is he a Robin Greenhill or is he a boyfriend? Like, I mean, stepdads can go places to protect people. That's not unusual, but, uh. And, and Chris says this in the Hollywood Life article. He has worked security in the past. So he has lots of experience. Little black box moment. He always helps out with the family in that way when we need him. He's a very generous guy. So is he security? Is he a sugar baby? Is he your, you're never gonna marry him is what you told Laura Wasser. Why not? Why wouldn't you marry him? Is it because he's not really your boyfriend, Chris? I'm sorry, but if he scratched me for no reason, I whip her ass, and I'll explain to y'all later. What? I would whip her ass. You would whip Penelope's ass if she scratched you? I would give her a spanking for sure. He does whatever Chris needs and people are reaching to make this into something it isn't. January, 2020, Justin Bieber leads a worship service at church home and leaves with Jaden Smith. Now remember from earlier, whenever Jaden Smith was his public enemy number one because he was gonna suck Kylie Jenner into Scientology and they were gonna control her money and her life and her career. March, 2013, the An Enquirer article comes out and says that Chris is scared that Kylie is going to become a Scientologist by dating Jaden Smith. According to the insider in this article, Chris was concerned Concerned that Jaden Smith was gonna pique Kylie's interest in the Church of Scientology, which could eventually go after her money and try to control her career. That's really interesting that Kris Jenner knows exactly what churches do to famous people though, isn't it? Go after your money and try to control your career. Kris Jenner was scared that Kylie was gonna become interested in a church that wasn't hers, that wasn't her church. Well, now Justin Bieber's hanging out with Jaden Smith at church home. Well, they were in a movie together. Justin and Jaden? And they had a song together, Never Seen Ever. He's like, bigger than me, stronger than me. Yeah. <laughs> so that was January. Then March, Kim, Courtney, and Penelope attend Sunday service, Kanye, which is not unusual. That's probably, that's fine. 2020, Kim and Kanye have been living separate lives since May. Chris has been tugging on her daughter's heartstrings to persuade her to do the right thing, which is to kick Kanye to the curb. He's outlived his usefulness and it's time he was cut loose. Well, guess what he started doing just two months later? Talking about they flew to Wyoming to try to lock me up with two doctors. When Chris realized she couldn't control him, he had to get out of the family. July, 2020. Kanye tweeted, Kylie stinks. <laughs> July 23rd, 2020, Kanye said, I've always hated Kris Jenner. But apparently she was the one that helped to actually set them up according to this research I did. November 2020, Corey's ex-girlfriend says that Corey targeted Kris Jenner because he is obsessed with power and money. So we had a little bit of a girlfriend uh, exposed. We had a little 90 day fiance. I hate you because you broke my Little well, Darcy and Stacy moment. Then you have January 6, 2021, an article reporting that Chris is the reason that Kanye and Kim's marriage is over. And Chris is the one who told Kim it's over. Kim's divorce lawyer from Kanye is Laura Wasser. And Laura Wasser is the podcast that Chris went on and said, I'll never marry Corey Gamble. Kim used Laura Wasser for her divorce from Chris Humphreys and is now using her for Kanye West. Before their wedding, Kim and Kanye did sign a prenup, which reportedly promised Kim would get a million dollars for every year the couple was married, up to 10 years, and all gifts and jewelry. For Christmas last year, he gave me a box and I opened it and it was Mickey Mouse and Adidas socks and Apple headphones and I thought, okay. And then he told me that he bought me major stock in all of those companies. Kanye, what was the reaction? She's like, uh, okay. <laughs> well, when I thought it was just Adidas socks and headphones, I was like, thanks. 
Chris will have made sure Kim's two recent big paydays, which was the deal for the new TV show on Hulu, reportedly worth $75 million, and her deal with Cody. She also has a makeup deal with Cody for KKW Beauty, where they bought 20% of KKW Beauty, same company, bottom, cash sale for that one too, also overvalued at a billion dollars. So Chris made sure that Kim's two big paydays from the Hulu show and the Cody deal would not be included in any divorce settlement. So basically Chris made sure that Kim could get money from Kanye, but not that Kanye could get money from Kim. July 30th, 2021, Corey Gamble wants Chris to raise his allowance. He works for Scooter Braun Management Company. So it's like, what is he doing other than dating Kris Jenner? And is his work with Kris Jenner somehow tied into his work for Scooter Braun? She said she's not going to marry him. So I have reason to believe just by that alone that she doesn't intend to make him her life partner. So what is this man? He used to work in security. He was grinding on his girlfriend's young daughter in public at a concert. He followed Kanye. West to go visit Donald Trump two weeks after Kanye was medically incarcerated against his will in a 5150 psychiatric hold at UCLA Medical Center. Who is Corey Gamble even? Like I have questions. And then my final bullet point, July 31st, 2021. Chris is the main reason Kim supported Kanye at his Donda listening party. So a lot of people were saying, well, she's not really going to divorce him because she's all showing up to his Donda release parties and stuff, whatever, whatever. Well, it comes out, according to the media, Kim did that because Kris Jenner made her do it. And I think Kris Jenner has been setting up the PR fight for the divorce and the custody and the money fight since 2019, really. Making, because if you look at it, Kim has done everything perfect as far as the media is concerned and Kanye has not. The issue is I think Kanye is a much more authentic person than Kim. And I think he just says what's on his mind, but I don't know what any of these people are saying behind the scenes and it could all just be a big media thing. So who knows, but she might be trying to convert the whole world into Kris Jens, if you know what I mean?